Hey guys, my name is Michelle from MonlyMichelle.com and I am a lover of all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And today we're actually going to be talking about something that I am super excited for. It is a new purchase that I got recently from New Marcus. Okay, so if you watch my luxury wish list video, I'll be sure to link it above. I mentioned this pair of, well, gig is up, a pair of shoes <laughs> that I really wanted to get, but it was between this pair that I got and another pair that I really wanted. So I went into Neiman Marcus because I was able to get a code, not a code, excuse me, a card where I saved basically half off of this pair of shoes. So I was able to get it at a great, great deal because I made a purchase um, at the end of last year that gifted me a gift card towards this purchase so I went into the store tried the shoes on and I was like yep I'm getting these <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it here's the bag and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up to show you guys and there was a piece of paper on top but I took it off here is the box ah! <laughs> Here's the box right here and it is the Dior Sling Back Pumps. Okay, so when you open the box, it comes like this. Obviously, I just showed it and then you just open it up. First thing that's in here is my receipt from Neiman Marcus. Next up is this dust bag here. So it does come with two dust bags for each shoe. And Dior's packaging is just so cute, so luxe. I love it. I love the white and gold. I'm a white and gold kind of girl. So then you just open it up, open it up, open it up. And then here, there's a little something on it. And then here are the heels here. This is the sling back pumps and i got it in the material so not the um, patent leather it's the actual like fabric material and i got it in a size 38 and a half y'all look how adorable these shoes are oh my gosh they are so cute they are the classiest shoe ever um, I got it in the taller heel height. I mentioned in my luxury wish list video that I wanted to try on both sizes. After I saw the um, shorter heel height in person, I was like, mm -mm, it wasn't enough. I love the curvature of that heel. I feel like it's very interesting, but it just wasn't giving me enough. And I wanted a like, an, I wanted an oomph for this shoe. So I did opt for the taller heel height. Still a very, very comfortable shoe though. I'll also be sure to include clips of me walking in the shoe and with the shoe on just so you can see. But it does have this really nice like white strap here for the sling back with a little cute bow. It does still have the little insert in it. I have not worn these shoes yet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that in there until I actually wear them. And then I also want to get a shoe guard for the bottom. I think it's called a shoe guard, but a shoe guard for the bottom of the heel just to protect it as well. Or the bottom of the shoe, I should say, um, to protect it as well. It also has this cute little star right here for Dior. I love it so much. And then of course it says Christian, let me turn it this way. <laughs> it says Christian Dior right here on the foot part of the shoe. Okay, so let's talk about sizing really quickly. So I know I mentioned that I got these shoes in size 30 and a half, which translates to an eight and a half. So I typically wear, well now, I used to wear, I was a strong seven and a half, could lean towards seven. But y'all, after I had a baby recently, my shoe size went up. So it's definitely true when they say, <laughs> Your feet can get bigger after having a baby. Anywho, so now I lean more towards, I can still fit a seven and a half just depending on the shoe. But when it comes to heels, I've noticed I've been leaning more towards like an eight. And for this shoe in particular, just because it does have more of like a narrow section right here for like the heel part, I want it to be pretty comfortable. The shoe did fit in a 38, but I just didn't want it to feel super tight and cramped right here. So I ended up getting it in a 38 and a half. The sales associate was also really kind. She like opened it up a little bit for me. 
uh, but she didn't want to open it up too much obviously because as you wear the shoe it's going to continue to kind of stretch and mold around your foot so she just wanted to make sure it was just a little bit more comfortable so it would it's a it's a snug fit but a good snug not like an uncomfortable oh my gosh my feet are going to be killing me it was pretty comfortable granted i only did wear it around the store so i like walked on the carpet walked on the um the tile in Neiman Marcus, and it felt really comfortable, really good. I'm not exactly sure how tall this heel is. If I had to guess, I would probably say it's like a three and a half, maybe four inch, but yeah, it's pretty comfortable. I will definitely come back to you guys with an update <laughs> to let you guys know after I've worn it for hours to see if it's like a shoe, like a sit down shoe, or if it's like a yes, I'm going to meetings, I'm going to brunch, I'm going shopping even if you're that girl. And it definitely fits well. So yeah, that's the sizing for the shoe. When I did go to Neiman Marcus, they had a great, oh my gosh, I saw so many different things that I liked. I also saw the Dior slides and I was like, ugh. I think that was like the second or third time I had seen them in person. I've seen them online, obviously, but just seeing them in person, I was like, how adorable. Uh, what else did I see that I really liked? I went to the Gucci section and saw the Gucci loafers and I was like, ooh, that's cute. Because <laughs> I do have a dupe for the Gucci loafers. It's the uh, from Steve Madden and I really like those. So I'm like, maybe I might consider, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I once I saw these shoes in person, put them on my foot especially with an outfit that I had on y'all I was like okay I really wish I got a clip of me wearing the shoe that day just so you guys can see but I was just too excited I was by myself I was like you know what um because my husband went to go look at something else I was like you know what I just want like just the shoe I want it <laughs> give it to me so let me go ahead and just show you oh paper fell <laughs> Let me go ahead and just show you guys the heels next to each other. This is it. How cute are these? I feel like this is going to, this is just the classiest shoe. I know I mentioned that, but I cannot wait to wear this with so many different outfits. I've been building up the classic part of my collection. I feel like I'm really trying to tailor and focus zone in my style on more so just like classic and then really loungewear. So I kind of want to do both where I have the classy side where it's really classic pieces whites neutrals creams browns soft pops of color but then i also want to have you know my lounge where i have to be realistic i love a good sweatsuit and sneaker combo so i'm like i said i'm building the classic side up and i figured that this pair of shoe this shoe i should say is going to be perfect it's going to go with so many different things i cannot wait to wear it with like a nice blouse and a pair of jeans i even think it'll go really well with the top that i'm wearing right now I feel like it's such a versatile shoe I am not gonna lie though I'm kind of nervous about this because I don't want this to get dirty so I'm gonna go ahead and look online to see if there's anything that helps protect this I don't know if I should spray something on it or something I'm sure someone has something online about it uh, but yeah I just don't want this to have like a dirty look so I want to make sure I protect that and, and just make sure it lasts a lifetime so yeah guys, this is the shoe here. As I mentioned, I was able to get it at a really, really good price, essentially half off. And that's because I took advantage of that promotion. So I definitely recommend when it comes to luxury shopping, if you want to get a good deal, just really look out for any promotions deals that that store may have. As I mentioned, Neiman Marcus had a promotion where if you spent a certain amount in store and I had to get some stuff anyway, cause it was around Christmas time, then you would get a gift card towards your next purchase the following year. So I um, made my initial purchases around, as I mentioned, around Christmas. And I got this gift card, I would say probably, if it wasn't around Christmas, it was a little bit before then. And then I got this gift card around January, January-ish, I should say, late January, um, because we're currently in February. And yeah, so the promotion ends, ends in March. So I was like, okay, I need to make a decision. And it was between this pair and, like I mentioned, the uh, Manolo Blahniks. But the Manolo Blahniks and Neiman Marcus, they didn't have the colors that I wanted or the heel height. So I was like, okay, now's my time to get the Christian Dior sling back pumps. So yeah, guys, I'm super excited to wear this. I have another unboxing coming pretty soon as well. So I'm excited to show you guys that, but I don't want to get too into it. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you love my content, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'll definitely appreciate it. And also you can visit my website, modernlymichelle.com, where I'll be getting a little bit more into these shoes as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.